Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, if you want to get your hands on a rare double action revolver and a $250,000 bonus, then keep watching this video and I'll show you how. What's up guys, Oddman105 here, and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to get your hands on the rare double action revolver, plus a $250,000 bonus for completing the double action revolver treasure hunt challenge. Now, if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate your support, and also consider subscribing while you're here. It helps out the channel a great deal and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click that bell icon for future notifications, leave a like or two, and hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Alright, let's begin. Oh, and before I begin, I have a few huge shout outs to give. First and foremost, to Dan Millet. Second, to Gary Christ. And last but not least, to B-Boy Izzy for their support of my channel. Thank all of you very much, I really do appreciate it. Now let's begin. Okay, so first, the prerequisites. You can only complete the Double Action Revolver Treasure Hunt Challenge once per character on your account. And of course you're allowed a maximum of two characters on your account, so you can actually complete this twice. Now, in order to trigger the Treasure Hunt Challenge, you'll need to receive an email from this person right here on the screen, Vandaline or whatever his name is. This email will instruct you to go to a specific place on the map highlighted in yellow and it'll direct you to find a specific clue. These clues spawn in 20 random locations throughout the map, okay? And they're pretty difficult to find. However, this video is a tutorial on where to find those 20 locations. Now, uh, this video will be broken down into two parts. During the first part, I will show you in detail exactly where all 20 spawn locations for the very first random clue will be located. In the second part of the video, I'll be demonstrating my experience with completing the Double Action Revolver Treasure Hunt Challenge to include uh, obtaining the $250,000 bonus at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this party. Okay, so the first location of the 20 random locations for the first clue is going to be here at Del Piro. It's going to be posted up on one of these pillars underneath the boardwalk. So we're here on the map. It may take you a minute to find it, but it's going to be down here in this area. Okay, we're right here. Should be posted up on this pillar right here. Now, let's take a look around really quick in relation to everything else. Again, it may take you a, a little bit to find it, but just walk under the boardwalk and search on this side of the pillars, and you should find it. But the first one should be on this pillar right here. The next clue is going to be located here at the top of Mount Josiah. We're located here on the map. So what you want to do is follow this trail. Okay, up to the top of the map. You'll come to this section here, the end of the trail actually. Walk past the parachute and the clues should be posted right on this rock right here. So just look for this rock at the top of this mountain. And again, it's located right here. Okay, next clue. Okay, the third random location is going to be here in Vinewood Hills. Right next to the orange juice stand here. We're located right here on the map. Let's zoom out a bit. What you 
want to do is obviously go down the hill and head straight to this signboard. And the clue will be posted right here on the sign. Obviously you can't see it because I've already got my clue, but it'll be right there on the signboard. Easy enough. Okay, let's go find the next location. The next location, or fourth location, is going to be located here at the Pacific Bluffs Graveyard. Right here on the map. Okay, and the sign, or note, should be posted right here on this large tombstone with a single arch. Immediately to its left is going to be a slightly smaller tombstone with three individual arches on it, but the note should be posted right here on this large tombstone. It should be fairly easy to find. Alright, let's go to the next location. The fifth random location is going to be here at the Tongba Hills Vineyards. Located right here on the map. Zoom out. Okay. You're going to be right here. Right underneath this bridge, actually. Now, it's either going to be on this rock here, or the note's going to be attached to this rock here, closest to the bridge. More than likely, it's going to be attached to this one. But check both, regardless. But the clue should be here, right under the bridge. All right, let's go to the next location. Okay, and the sixth random location is going to be here at the Sanchiansky Mountain Range. Let's take a look at the map. Right here. Zoom out. It's going to be on this peninsula. Basically at the top of a lookout area. Now, what you're going to want to do is come here, and the note's going to be posted on this pillar right in front of these two rocks. Okay, but it's going to be on this area right here. Okay, and the seventh clue is going to be located here at the Great Shapiro Church. Right here on the map. Okay, and here what you want to do is simply go to the gravestone here, next to the uh, casket. And it should be posted right here on this one gravestone. Really simple, really easy. Okay, let's go to the next location. Okay, the eighth location is going to be located here at Cassidy Creek, underneath the large arched bridge, located right here on the map. Zoom in. Okay, what you're going to want to do, head to the west of the bridge and come to these trees right here. The note will be posted on this large tree right here. It's going to be a little tricky to find, but this is where you'll want to find it. Alright, let's go to the next location. The ninth location. It's going to be located right down here. At the Tatavium Mountain Range. Right here on the map. So what you want to do is come to this peninsula here on the east side of the map. Head to this peninsula right here. We're just south of the Humane Labs as a point of reference. Now, look for this natural bridge or tunnel or whatever you want to call it. But the clue is going to be posted right here on this wall, this rock wall here. 
should be posted somewhere around here on this location. And again, you want to look for this natural bridge. Okay, the 10th location will be here at Sandy Shores, right at the Alamo Sea on this peninsula. Right here on the map. What you want to do is walk out to the peninsula, look for this sunken red boat here. This big slab of rock here and right here on this stone, let me zoom out, this stone right here, there should be a message. This is where your clue should be located, right here. So this one should be fairly easy. The 11th location is here, out on the Grand Sonora Desert, just south of the Sandy Shores airfield. And you guys already see where this is going. We're located right here on the map. Here's the airfield, just to the southwest. Let's zoom out a bit. Right there. There's going to be this abandoned cave here. And the note is going to be posted right on this door. Right there. It's a little tricky to find, but just remember, go southwest of the airfield, and it should be right here. Okay, the 12th location is located here at the San Chiansky Mountain Range. It'll be posted up right on this lone cross here at the top of this mountain. So we're located right here on the map. Zoom out. So you've got Humane Labs here. We're to the north of that. Just south of this road, but it'll be right in the middle of a mountain. Just look for this lone cross right here. And the note will be posted right on the cross. And you'll be facing north also. So that's probably one of the easiest ways to find it. But, this is uh, clue number 12. Let's keep going. Let's find the next clue. Okay, the 13th random location for the clue will be here at the Los Santos Golf Course. Obviously, right here on the map. And it'll be posted on this broken bridge. right here on this pillar. So just head to the broken bridge at the Los Santos Golf Course and you'll find the note attached right here. Pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, and the 14th location is located here on this peninsula at a Pacific Ocean beach. So if we take a look at the map, Here's the island. It's more of an island than a peninsula, but we're, we're on the southern tip of this island here. And we're located here on the map, to the east. Okay, what you want to do is face south. And this one can be a little tricky to find, but the note is going to be posted right up on this rock here. Right here. Okay, the 15th location is located here at Polito Bay, underneath this broken bridge. Right here on the map. And it should be posted right here on this damaged pillar, 
let's zoom in, here we go, right here, on this pillar right here, you should find your random note. Very simple, straightforward. Just remember to come to this location at Polito Bay underneath the broken bridge and your note should be right here on this post or pillar. Okay, the 16th random clue location is going to be located here at Great Chaparro. We're right here on the map. Zoom out. So what you want to do is follow this road all the way around. And the clue is going to be located right here, just off the road. You've got this abandoned mine right here. zoom in. The note will be posted right here on this pole, right here. And again, you want to look for this abandoned mine. But it should be posted right here on this pole. The 17th location will be right here at Sandy Shores in the Great Sonora Desert. Right here on the map. What you want to do is follow this dirt trail all the way around until you come to this lookout. And the note's going to be posted right here on this board. Right here. Super easy to find. Again, just remember to follow the dirt road all the way around until you reach this lookout area here. Okay, to 18th clue location is right here at the top of Mount Chiliad, and you can't get much easier than this. Located right here on the map. All you have to do is follow the dirt trail all the way up to the top of the mountain. And you'll eventually reach this lookout. And just like the 17th location, your clue will be posted right here on this board. Super easy. The hard part's going to be getting up to the top of the mountain anyway, but just remember, you're going to be close to the cable car house right over there. So again, a super easy find. The 19th location will be located right here. got this little tourist location just off the main road on the map just south of Fort Sankudo and easy enough the sign will be posted right on this totem pole right here to Hoot Falls Okay, and the final random spawn location for the first clue will be in this area here. The Grand Sonora Desert. We're located right here on the map. So what you want to do is just follow this dirt road along here. And it should lead you to this uh, White Rock Mountain. Now, we're just south of Sandy Shores and we're also just south of the railroad line. So we're right here in this area. The note should be posted right on this rock face here, somewhere along here. And that's basically it. Just remember, if you have difficulty finding it, to look for the largest white rock in this area. Okay, And that's pretty much it, guys. These are the 20 random spawn locations for the very first clue. Now, you'll receive that email telling you to find the clue uh, as part of the treasure hunt but it'll be a really grainy picture. These 20 locations that I've shown you should be the best bet or your best bet uh, to find the first random clue. Now, what I want to do next is show you guys my playthrough of finding not only the random location, but all three, all other uh, fixed locations for the remaining clues and I'll complete the challenge. So keep watching the video and you'll see how I did it. The first random clue that I received, let's land the helicopter first. And I can already see it. The piece of paper is on that pole right there. 
first random clue from this guy, Vanderlind, or whatever his name is. Right here, the Fisherman's Jetty, here at the Sanchansky Mountain Range, which is here on the map. Now the exact location, the exact location is right here, at this little viewpoint. This is the first random clue. Okay. Let's find the rest of them. Okay guys, second location. Looks like it's going to be on this tree here. We're here on the map. Yep, and there it is. There's the box. Or first random clue. Okay, we're coming up on the next fixed clue location. This will be clue number two of three. It should be in this rundown shack right here. We're in Sandy Shores and we're right here on the map. Right at the basin of the Alamo Sea. Yep, there we go. The bloody shovel. And let's see. There we go. Got a notification. Try to land the helicopter without crashing. There we go. We're here on the map. There should be a dead guy in this cave. And there he is. You guys can you can hear the chimes. Okay, third clue. All right, and the final location for this treasure hunt to pick up the actual treasure is located here in Polito Bay. We're right here on the map, right at the tip of this peninsula. So this is where you want to come. Ah. There we go. Okay, and we've just unlocked the double action revolver. Now, next step. We need to get 50 headshots with this thing. And we'll get paid. Yeah, get 50 headshots with a double action revolver, and we'll get about 250k. So let's go do that now. Alright, we're just about to finish up this challenge. Let's get their weapons. The best way to complete this challenge is to just shoot the police, and they'll keep coming.
Bam, and check that out. $250,000. Not bad at all. All right, guys, and that's it. That's how you complete the Double Action Revolver Challenge and get your free 250k bonus simply for completing the challenge. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, and if you guys found this informative, which I hope you did, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.